Dearest Jazz, wonderful to meet you. Thank you for your help and support to refugees. The work the Worldwide Tribe does is admirable and inspiring. Good luck with the amazing efforts and work. Best wishes, Gowali. I'm Jazz O'Hara and I'm the founder of the Worldwide Tribe. Probably loud would be the first one, um, and passionate, and um, creative. So the Worldwide Tribe is um, an organisation um, and a kind of online community that supports refugees across the world. But we focus on communication, so we install Wi-Fi into refugee camps and we also tell stories and raise awareness. When it comes to changing something in history, yeah, I don't know, I do have that belief of like everything kind of happens exactly as it should and there's lots of things that you can't have you can't impact how they happen or what happens, but you can impact how you react to it. My role model at the moment is my little brother, Meseret, because he is my inspiration for everything that I do. He's fostered, he um, comes from Eritrea. He left his country when he was 13 to flee compulsory military service and he made the craziest journey across the Sahara Desert and he crossed Europe on foot. Every single day I think, if I ever think, wow this is a challenge or this is hard. I just think about that journey that he did and I think if he could do that then I can do this. <laughs> not following what I believe in and being true to myself and not listening to that instinct and that inner guide. I think that being as close to that as possible is when you feel the best and the happiest and I really see that. that in my work now, a lot of people might think that I'm crazy to have quit my job and really thrown my everything into this work, but I really listened to myself and, and what I felt like I should be doing, what I needed to be doing. And two years later, I'm, it's still going, so I think there's something to be said for that. Hopefully on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Um, somewhere warmer than London, I think, definitely. But yeah, I, I really believe that I'll still be doing this work. I don't think that um, the refugee crisis is going anywhere. I think that, um, you know, as um, environmental factors come into play, there will be more people um, displaced um, in the world. And that if I can continue to push this narrative of we are all on this world together, regardless of borders, nationalities, religions and languages, you know, we all share this world together and then that's that narrative that I will still be pushing 20 years down the line. <laughs> I think that everybody has their own something to give um, in their lifetime in this world and the key is to find what that is, you know, not everybody needs to be putting up tents in the jungle in Calais or pulling people off boats on the shores of Lesbos. Not everybody has the time or the capacity to do that or the money to give, but everybody has something to give. And for me, I think that it has been about sharing through writing and um, visually on social media some of the stories of the people that I've met and bringing a kind of voice to some, some of the people that don't have a voice or aren't being heard within this crisis and that kind of communication and bringing together of a community that's what I think um, is where my skills have been best placed um, within this crazy crisis. We're all the same, we're all human, we all share this world together and we all have a responsibility for one another and that, you know, if you're, if any, if any of humanity is suffering or in pain, then we, that has a negative impact on, on all of us. We're definitely all connected. Thank you so much for listening to my story. To subscribe, click the button here to watch more content from Glamour UK.